When you sweat, you just don't lose water, you lose electrolytes. Important nutrients and minerals that your body needs, including magnesium. Magnesium is the key to good health and disease prevention. Without it, you'll likely have low energy, poor stamina, and weak vitality. Most people don't get enough magnesium. And, and most magnesium supplements are poorly absorbed with little as 4% of the benefits. But Magnesium 5X is not your average supplement. It has some of the most bioavailable and highly absorbable forms of magnesium in the world. 5X will help your muscles function, your bones, tooth, tissue development, and heart function, and boost your energy. Kelly and I are proud to be the official launch partners for Soul Life and Magnesium 5X here in America. Use our code and get $20 off every bottle. Change your life for the better with Soul Life. Change your life for the better with Soul Life and Magnesium 5X. Hey guys, welcome to your Daily Smash for Monday, March 25th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Hope you had a great weekend and a great Palm Sunday. Yeah, I went to Mass with Jolie and it was packed. And mm -hmm. we we went like this and we, we get there and the priest had the holy water and he was like going like this, but he was having too much fun with it, okay? <laughs> like like no joke. And he was really? like hitting people on the head. I'm not kidding. Like it was hilarious. Uh -huh. So we were kind of like in the front pew like this, like on the side, yeah. Julie and I. And he gets his thing and he goes, Whoa. I'm not kidding you, it got in my mouth. <laughs> Whoa, kiss me. And it went in my eye. Like, he splashed my whole face. He sprayed you with holy water. He <laughs> <coughs> it was, Julie was dying laughing. It was, it was so funny. Does that mean that you're now... Cleansed? Yes. No, I need more than that. <laughs> you know, go to reconciliation. Okay, I need, I need to say, like... Pray what about rosary. confession? When's the last time you went to confession? Um... Good question. Thanks. Probably six years ago. Oh. I need to go. They're having the, it. They're having it coming up. On what do you mean Monday. they're having it? They're having it before Like Easter. a confession special? <laughs> yes, they are. They are having a confession special. <laughs> You're going to be in Paris for Easter Sunday. I know. I can't wait. I'll go to the Notre Dame. Joy's like, we're not there long enough. Why aren't we there the whole entire time? I thought it would be neat for her to, us to go to, to London. It will be. It will be. Um, I think that... She she won't know until she gets there. Right. You may find that you want an extra day there. But I bought my Eurostar. I bought my my train. Yep, we got your train tickets. Got my train ticket. Uh, got your hotels. Got my hotels. Yep. I was going to do Airbnbs, but... You know, you look at the place. I was looking at these places. You don't know what you're going to get. And I want service. I want... To be the able, maid, I, want, yeah, I want the maid, the I want the, the bar, I want the restaurant, I want, I, 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 I get that. I And I want to feel like safe. I mean, I don't, how do I know if these people are going to come in and rummage through my things and take <laughs> my, you know what I mean? Like, well, you're you in a different that's not country. Gonna, it could happen in a hotel too, you know, they go into I know, hotel well, room. at least I have a safe in there and there's like... I, I don't know. I but feel I, safer in a hotel. I was looking at these places on Airbnb and I kept thinking, that's someone's house or someone's apartment. And there could be like cameras in there. There could be a nanny cam. Who knows? Yeah. It just, Julie and I could be like stripping down naked and there could be a nanny cam. There's movies on that. We watched it. <laughs> scary. Well, are you excited about your trip? I am. It's going to be exhausting, but it's going to be fun. Yeah. Gonna it's going to be fun to have a mother-daughter trip. You know, I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, and it, it's a great opportunity for her to see the school, but also So we have see... some great news about Jolie, uh -huh. since we're on the topic of her. Yes. She got into the new school of... Um, of design. Parsons School of yeah, Design. Yeah, Parsons, and she got a $16,000 merit scholarship. Yeah, congrats, Jolie. Well, so funny. Because she gets, she starts screaming, Mom, Mom, I got in, I got in. I go, why can't you get a scholarship? <laughs> and she was reading, she goes, I got a 16. <laughs> I got a scholarship. I got, I got a, a scholarship. scholarship. <laughs> Very excited. 
So a merit scholarship. Oh my god. Now she's got a choice: Paris or New York. Yeah. Paris or Manhattan. I mean, I, I looked at her tonight. So I said those are two very good choices. I texted Shannon Bedore to ask her because mm-hmm. her daughter goes to AUP. One daughter. Julie's going to go to school, and she's a nice girl. That she's that Stella's a bomb, and Adeline is too. And Adeline goes to the new school in New York. So I just texted Shannon. I said, "Julie, got in this. What school would you prefer? Is the best school? Crickets, nothing. Oh. About our kids, <laughs> nothing. Well, we have a Shannon story coming up. Oh yeah, we're going back to the vault. Oh, we are." Yeah. Did you find it? Yeah. Shut up. I did. Well, Bryn found it, and then I went and found it, and I cut the clip, and I'll show it to you. Oh, I want to see it. Yeah. Harry's gone. You guys, I miss Harry. Like, I do. I woke up this morning, and my coffee, I had to make it myself. (laughs) I, I did a project in the garage. I had to do it myself. And then he goes... I called him. Smart. I miss you. I miss you too. And I and and I, I said, how was Fortune? Fe-? You know, fortunes. And he goes, Kelly, she is hilarious. He goes, I haven't yeah. laughed that hard in a long time. I really needed it. I'm like, why? Were you? Ha- Did you have a bad time here? With yeah, me? <laughs> you hadn't laughed in weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were working so you hard. Laugh. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I know he had a good time. I know. But he was a terrific house guest. He did help us tremendously. And I recorded a video with him before he left. Here it is. Oh, I love it. Oh, love y'all. Bye. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Have you have you ever worked this hard as a guest in anyone's home before? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. We appreciate everything that you do. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm You're so a great excited. friend and a very talented individual, and we look forward to having you back. I can't wait to come back. Yes, to have you back. I mean, yeah. your handiwork is everywhere. Yes. <laughs> Including yes, this beautiful cabinet that you put the lights and the shelves in. Yeah. So nice. Is he out there waiting? Yeah. Okay, we'll let you oh, go. Thanks, Harry. Okay. Oh, love thank you guys. Harry, love you. Till next time. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, bye. See you later. <laughs> so thank you, Harry, for all of your hard work. Thanks, Harry. We were going to go to L.A. too, to go to that comedy show. Jeff Lewis invited us, but... It was too much. I mean, we had too much to do, and I had just finished my surgery. And, oh, thanks for everyone reaching out and wishing me well. Uh, it went very smoothly. I can't believe. I cannot believe. I was how- down for the count for almost a day, and then I got up and started getting stuff done again. Oh, I have to tell a funny story. Oh, tell me. So I, I go to get my, uh, I, I get my gum surgery, and they knock me out. And they, I guess they put me in a wheelchair. I don't even remember. They put me in a wheelchair to take me downstairs. I didn't downstairs. even ask to look to see what it was like. Is there stitches in there? There's like, they just like packing in there to cover the stitches, I think. Oh. I have Does a, it hurt to eat? It's a little uncomfortable. I never but, asked him these questions but, until now. <laughs> uh, they're on the sides, upper sides. So I've just been avoiding those areas. Uh-huh. But anyway, they, I'm, I'm still like half out of it, more than half. They put me in a chair, they take me downstairs, and Harry and Kelly pick me up, put me in the truck, and drive me home. We and put them in the back. They, they get out of the truck, and they, I guess, I don't know, did you go fully in the house we before you realized? The we they go in the house, they left me sitting in the back seat. Oh, he's just out of it in the back seat. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I hear like, oh my God, oh my God, and the door oh, opens, and they're, letting, they're getting me out. And I'm like, how long was I in there? An hour and a half? I'm like, now I know what those babies feel like. (laughs) Oh my God, that's awful. (laughs) That is awful. No, what's more awful, that or you leaving me behind? Well, you're not a baby. You're damn near 70, okay? No. I'm 65 almost. Okay, I just turned 64. (laughs) Like a baby? You always try to age me more than I already am. To make myself feel better. Uh... I didn't mind being Those left behind because I didn't know I was left behind. Left I was out them. of it. You're not a little baby. <laughs> and we left you there for a second, okay? <laughs> now well, I know how the babies feel. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> about. First of all, it's 60 degrees here. We left you in there True, for... I wasn't in a hot car. <laughs> you were not in a hot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. And it's funny. No, it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for but bringing me But we did run. He was like this. 
<laughs> so then the next day I got to work on the garage project, among other things. And Harry helped me at the beginning, and he kind of screwed up a couple of things. I had to redo everything because everything was backwards. But I don't blame him because I didn't look ahead on the directions to make sure we were doing things oh. the right way. But um, I just want to show this twice. I was putting these big bolts in with a socket wrench, and I snapped two of them. It was almost like, ah, ah, ah. Snap two of them right in half. Yikes. It's a lot of work, but we now have the racks installed. We haven't filled our bins yet, but we went to Costco and got the bins. Mm -hmm. So I think tomorrow or Tuesday we're going to organize stuff. They're seven ninety eight at Costco. Yeah, eight, and eight bucks to, for those bins. And, and, and you go anywhere else and they're outrageous. Yeah, like $20, $30. It's crazy. Target, they're nuts. Costco has a great price on them. And those are the heavy-duty ones. Those are the good bins. It's very stackable. Where do we have all of our passports right here? I, I took them out because I was using them to book our flights. Here's my, um, here's how ugly I look in that picture. <laughs> it's the worst passport picture of all time. I look Just, like Griselda. <laughs> Worse. Meanwhile, I look very <laughs> handsome in mine. Oh, that's Julie's. Is that one mine? Oh, look at Julie. This is Julie's passport, British passport. Isn't this cute? And I, you know, this is my so handsome you, face on my pen. I'm not going to put her things on here. But on Jolie's, they have a little little picture on the bottom there on her British passport. Isn't that cute? Look at how much. Oh. That's the only good thing that Michael's done for Jolie was give Get her, her a British passport. <laughs> Get her a birthright <laughs> to, to the UK. We're going to talk about him tomorrow. Let's save him for tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to tell you guys the... Well, I, he better step that. up, and if he doesn't, I'm going to tell you all. Let's talk about how right you were about the Shannon being sued by John Jansen's story. Let's go back to the vault. This is one week ago on Monday, March 18th. What did you hear? I heard from Alexis's camp that John Jansen is suing or wants his money back for uh, Shannon Bedore's facelift. So he apparently lent her the money or gave her the money to get some cosmetic surgery done. A facelift. And, and now the story is that he wants that money back. Yeah. And and I guess it was on camera that, she, that Alexis came after Shannon. About that? Yeah. Really? Allegedly. Wow. Wow. See? Get your news first. Right here. Rick and Kelly. We're breaking news. Breaking news. That was a week breaking ago. Breaking the barriers. Breaking everything. <laughs> I don't breaking the law. <laughs> no, that's Shannon Bedore. <laughs> Shannon Bedore breaks I don't the think law. This became public knowledge until like yesterday or the day before. Yeah, it's all over at page six. It's all over the place. So he is suing her. For $75,000 plus interest and other costs. Because he apparently lent her forty grand. I think it was March of 22. And then another thirty-five grand in like May of 23. So the thing of it is, is that people, I'm reading the comments on a lot of these things. And they're like, I don't understand. How is it $75,000 to get a facelift? Oh, honey. My friends go to Dr. Ko and everybody else in San Diego, that Persian guy, they're $150,000, those facelifts. That's a lot I mean, my of friend money. Rob and, and uh, Chris, yeah. they went to New York. Theirs was $150,000. Like, these facelifts two days mm -hmm. are incredibly, incredibly, ridiculously expensive. My... Um, I... I, she, I, apparently, according to John Jansen's camp, is that there is, it's all in writing. That, that it was not a gift. That it was not a gift. That, that it was, was all in writing. A loan. That, it was a loan. Wait, can I say this? At, and my initial reaction was, all the things that Shannon did for John, for him to now go after her for the money, is so awful. But, if in fact... 
it was a, uh, a loan, and it was it was made clear at the time he's lo- lending her this money because she didn't have the money herself, and she always intended to pay him back. Well, then we get to the second part of the story, which is Shannon saying, "I offered to pay him back. I didn't want this to be in the press. I offered to pay him back. I just wanted him to sign a non disparagement clause." And I looked at Kelly and said, "Oh, well, there you go. When you borrow money, you don't get to set the terms for the return of that money." She didn't have any leg to stand on to say, well, I'll give you back your money as long as you sign this document. I would have done the same thing he did. I would have been like, no. Go go kick rocks? Yeah. Well, he had a lot to say and wanted to say to me, and I didn't want to hear it. You know, I, I was just trying to be like like a good person and not want to hear gossip but you know what I should have I should have said I'm not going to say anything <laughs> I was that's what now, I said I was like I want to hear what he has now, to say now that she doesn't want me on Trace Amigas and she won't write me back ab- about the kids you know what she 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 deserves everything she's getting you know what when you put out negative stuff like that Negative stuff comes back tenfold, right? She got that DUI. She got a hit and run. She went to jail. She broke her arm. She broke her nose. She now is in the press looking like, and now she's going to come out probably looking squeaky clean because now Tamara's after her ass and, 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 and she can't stand her. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly, the way Shannon did treat Tamara was Mm -hmm. awful. Okay. As soon as she got, canned Tamara she did treat Tamara like her not that I'm sticking up for Tamara by any means but this this Shannon Bedore is all about herself she's all about what she can get out of things and then everybody's like well I don't understand she came from money she comes from money she's not a trust fund baby she doesn't get a monthly allowance like most trust fund people she probably grew up very wealthy with her parents but she doesn't get a stipend every single month mm-hmm. like most trust fund people that that have that. She doesn't have that. And by the way, she didn't get that much money from David Bedore. She got $1 million. That's it. Like $1 million. Like that doesn't get you anywhere, especially with her burn rate. And here in Newport Beach. And here in Newport Beach. I mean, Beach, her rent was what? Fifteen, sixteen thousand 16000 A month. A month. And, and she's got kids in college. Well, David pays for those kids. Oh, he I'm does? Sure. I'm sure he does. Well, she's... I mean, I'm sure she gives towards the kids. Yeah. But I, I know uh, David pays a lot of their, their schooling. But her trying to tell John, give John conditions on her paying him back, to me, smacks of someone with control issues. Like, she's got she's got to control the situation. Did you see someone... Is she a control well, freak? Well, I'm sure... You think she's a control freak? I'm asking you in your experience with yeah, her. Yeah, she's a control freak. That's why nobody can handle her. That's why most men can't deal with Shannon. Like, that woman will always, forever, probably be alone because she's so neurotic and she's so, so, so a control freak. And he, he even wrote in there how abusive she was t- towards him. Like, he wrote that to me. Yeah. And I was like, I mean... Like, listen, she knows how to play that victim card. She knows how to have people feel sorry for her. She knows. Like, when when David cheated on her, it was like everybody felt sorry for her. Like, yeah. she knows how to push that button. She knows how to do that. And well, I just wish she was a better friend to you after all the things you did for her. And she really has not been a good friend has to you. Has she been a good friend to anyone? I don't know. I just know she hasn't been a good friend. I don't to you. think she's been a good friend to anyone. Catherine Spooner, been a crappy friend to her. Everybody that's in her, she says her core four. Has she been a good friend to anyone? No. What has she done? Well, that's, it's all about her. There you it's go. It's all about her. And and then if you if she asks you for something, then she'll try to help you. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Like if if she asks me. Oh, can you can you have um, Artie Moreno get Sophie a job? You know, can you do this? Can I borrow your clothes? Can I do? Can I um, get Elizabeth Vargas so I have uh, Elizabeth Vargas uh, uh, have my twins have their birthday party at her house? Can you do this? Can you do? That? It goes on and on and on. You you did a lot for her, and that's why I am always upset that you weren't that she wasn't a better friend to you. I have some comments to read. Mm. Nice comments from Friday's show. Ray Carter, 8070. I'm enjoying these Bravo podcasts. 
I actually enjoy these more than the show. Aww. You two are really funny. Thank you, Ray. Caroline White. Holy crap, Rick, you look completely different, but in such a good way. Oh, wow. Scuba Steve, 3560. Moved to Florida during the pandemic, and it was the best decision I ever made. Our state was just fine. We were still free and functioning great. So are we here in Newport Beach, by the way. This yeah, Newport Beach was a Florida of California. California. Joe Nova, 2828. 28. It was not only America. Melbourne, Australia was hit hard with lockdowns and financially cost billions. It was worldwide, for sure. And M. Schulman, thanks for the memories. I left NYC after 30 years during COVID and never looked back. I don't miss it for one second. I, I think a lot of people enjoyed those videos that we that we shared on Friday. Mm -hmm. The look back, we'll do it again. We have we have more stuff like that. What did it say? Breaking news. Oh, breaking news! The FDA had to retract their ivermectin statements, remove all their horse memes from social media. Because remember, they they wouldn't even consider any alternative treatments. Yeah. People were saying that that there were That's, but why warning we, labels but on why, our show. But why? Oh, there was warning labels on, on the show? And that they, there were like um, uh, CDC ads. Misinformation? Like, yeah. Well, they, I don't think they used that word. But just like, to learn more about this, go to... To learn more about what? What, <laughs> what did we learn from if that mess? If you want to hear our nonsense what version. Did, what did we learn from that mess? You know? And people still... I was on the wrong side of history. They still can't say I'm sorry. Nancy Ferrari, watching your pandemic footage is almost incomprehensible. I can't believe we lived through that madness. I remember seeing footage of the 405 freeway completely empty. Yeah. And then this one I love from Mom4141. I lived in Manhattan Beach. You were arrested if you went on the beach sand. Helicopter circled to catch the residents. Yeah. You were also ticketed if you were not wearing your mask on the streets. I miss my America and common sense. Bless you both to stand up against craziness every day. It is crazy what, I mean, I still have that up on my Instagram when I got in that fight. People were like, you're killing people. Yeah. I mean, like the insanity of how brainwashed and how easily people can be manipulated mm -hmm. and, and the fear mongering that goes mm -hmm. on. Like it is Really, people really have to pay attention. Well, the media played a big role in that too. And you people, know, the media played a huge role, perpetuating the the lies and the 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 misperceptions and and the the, the government line, which turned out to be in the wrong place. Yeah, I the mean, FDA. The First part. of all, we shouldn't have a food and a drug administration in the same thing. I'm sorry. Sorry. Pick, pick we your should, lane. We should, yeah, we should have, there should be two different entities there. Yeah, I agree. And Gigi Rossi said, reminds me of the day after 9-11. We talked about that when the city was so quiet and deserted. I, I likened it to Vanilla Sky, the film Vanilla Sky, or that Charlton Heston movie, uh, Omega Man, when everything is just empty. It was, it was eerie. It was crazy when we were in yeah. new york and everybody was i mean we didn't even see homeless people could you imagine where'd they go even the homeless were scared like <laughs> no like, that's we, all i saw was homeless people we didn't see any anyone out on the streets there we were, saw two zombies we saw zombies we saw some homeless um it was but it was a weird time for sure i do have a in the news item i think you'll appreciate sure in, in the news Playground bullies do prosper and go on to earn more in middle age. Really? Yes. A five-decade study in the UK found that aggression at school leads to better paying jobs, while those with emotional instability went on to earn less. Well, we have Tamara, who's a bully. I guess she's making a fortune right now. <laughs> but then we also have Shannon Bedore, who's... Well, she's making money. She's making a lot of money. Yeah. Like, a lot. Yeah. But you know what? She was a bully towards me in Ireland. She was a bully. Children who displayed aggressive behavior at schools, such as bullying or temper outbursts, are likely to earn more money in middle age, according to a five-decade study that upends the maxim that bullies do not prosper. They are also more likely to have higher job satisfaction and be in more desirable jobs, say researchers from the Institute for Social and Economic Research at the University of Essex. This is an interesting... Uh, 
paper that was published uh, Sunday used data from 7,000 people born in 1970 and then tracked them over the last 50, what is that, 50 years? I was born in 75, so yeah. Well, you weren't in part of this study then. Were you a bully? No, I was never a bully. I was but bullied. I, I wasn't a bully, but I stuck up for myself. I'm I was sure never a did. bully. I never started like issues. I just finished them. I got in a lot of fights in high school. <laughs> and I did. I got in a lot of fights in grade school and high school. I was a lover, not a fighter. Oh, I was a fighter. Like a like 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 physically a fighter. So they studied uh, they examined data from primary school teachers who assessed her children's social and emotional skills when they were ten years old in nineteen eighty and mass it to their lives at the age of 46 in 2016. And they found that the children who teachers felt had problems with attention, pure relationships, and emotional instability it did end up earning less in the future, as we expected, but we were surprised to find a strong link between aggressive behavior at school and higher earnings later in life. It's possible our classrooms are competitive places and that children adapt to win that competition with aggression and then take that through to the workplace where they continue to compete aggressively for the best paid jobs. That makes total sense to me. Well, there's also a thing about high EQ, emotional mm -hmm. intelligence, and a high IQ, mm -hmm. who does better in life. Yeah. And it's always, there's a study that the kids that have a higher EQ do well better than kids that do better, like have better IQ. I Makes mean, sense. because you can see a lot of people from like Harvard MBAs. I remember people that were in the tech company were like, they, they, they have, were better at school and direction and things mm -hmm. like that, but they weren't better, like particularly better at business. They didn't have a business acumen. I, I get that. Know. Life skills, uh, uh, world, you know, world skills, real world skills. But today they don't want you to be better they want everybody to be the same but that's they why want, they they want they this is what they want but that's why i like I, I think this is an important study people should pay attention to it because you don't want to suppress people who who are aggressive necessarily you don't that within reason but those are the kids who are going to thrive and succeed mm -hmm. the ones who are aggressive the ones who are competitive I was very competitive. Well, you can see it in boys and girls, right? When little boys are little, they're 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 crazy compared to girls. Like, yeah. there's just and you know a lot of people don't want their kids. Like, I always like go ahead, let them be boys. Mm -hmm. Let them run around. Let them go crazy. Let boys be boys. Let them eat dirt. Like, let them eat dirt. Let them get in fights. <laughs> like, let them let boys be boys. Yeah, you know. But we 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 don't want to do that. Oh, let's talk about how I was trying to do my train ticket. Well, I was trying to trying to do something. Was it Air France? Oh, oh yeah. my! I was trying to um, book a um, frequent flyer miles with Air France. You were, you were creating your your frequent flyer account, and it said, "What's your status?" It, it said, "Mr. Um, Mr." And they said Ms. Ms. I Ms. thought Ms. No. meant like you're like unmarried. Yeah, unmarried or divorced. That's what I thought. But it could be Miss or Mrs. or Ms. And then and Ms. Was, is sort of a generic. Yeah, Ms. And then it and, said MRX. No, it said MZ. Oh, MZ. It's MR, MS, MZ. What is MZ? We Zombie. Should've... Zombie? That's for zombies. It's for zombies. <laughs> That's for someone who's either a Mr. or a Ms. Is <laughs> that, that you're an MZ. That's a new thing. I never saw it before. I, I assume it just means someone who is gender fluid or is in the alphabet of describing their sexuality or just someone who doesn't want to be labeled with a Mr. or a Ms. You're just an it. Why don't they just say <laughs> it? Why don't they just put it? You're going to piss people off again. I don't care. I piss everybody off every day. So which there one did a, you there pick? There isn't a time where I don't make anybody mad. Which one did you pick? MS or MZ? Mister. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's but if a, they saw a Mister on there, would they question me? That's a good question. Southwest says male or female. That's your only two choices. Not every airline does this. And like on your passport, like what are they going to say? You have to pick a gender, don't you? 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can go do beta blockers and not beta blockers, but hormone blockers at 12 when you can't even go get a boob job until you're 18. Like, I mean, the world is just cuckoo. That, that's a pretty important point. Brie told me that. Yeah. And great I was point. Like, yeah. More on that on the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. On Patreon.com. <laughs> Someone got mad at me because I was promoting Patreon. Oh, why do you have to save things for Patreon? Why do you have to do that? Because well, you can't do it here because we get suppressed. We get suppressed. We, we get, get censored. We get, we get censored here. Demonetized. We get demonetized. So we really appreciate you guys being here. And have a smash-tastic <laughs> week. Yeah. A smash-tastic day. Yes. And we still have to figure out how we're going to do our shows when you're in London and Paris. We have to figure that out. I think I need to get a Dropbox account probably and drop my videos in there. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. That'll be that'll be easier. Yeah, it'll probably be easier. Yeah. And then I'll have more or, editing to do. But then we can do uh Zoom? A Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll okay. do that. Have a great day, everybody. Bye guys.